We recently left the UAE to go traveling. The first country we explored was Costa Rica. Join us for our upcoming Costa Rica series where we explore magical rivers, go into the jungle, and see exotic animals in the wild. After 40 plus hours of travel, we landed in the capital of Costa Rica, San Jose. We picked up our rental car and we then drove three and a half hours north to Rio Celeste. We've just made it to our first Airbnb in Costa Rica and it took us about three hours to get here after we left the airport and got our rental car. So we just drove north, we're around the Mount Arenal area, in fact we're just north of that at the Rio Celeste River which is literally just behind us right now. You can hear the river flowing, so I'm interested. I want to go down there and see. We asked the guy whose Airbnb this is if the water was blue because he said if it's blue you can swim in it and he said if it's green or if it's brown you can't swim in it. So we're hoping the rain stops so that the water is blue so we can go swimming. So for tonight's accommodation, I booked an Airbnb. Um, we were looking at different places over here and this one just struck out because the building just looks so unique. It is a literal egg shaped building. It reminds me of SpongeBob's pineapple. We yeah. had a hard time finding it. So we drove around, we asked a few people and then we finally got lucky and the guy was like, yeah, it's right down here. Yeah, I can't wait for you to see it. It's so cool. Let's go inside the egg. All right, so we'll start, we'll go around this way. So I think one of the coolest things about this place is if you look around the walls, there are pieces of wood and some of them have designs, paintings on them. It's very unique. And then if you go up higher, the ceiling has holes for windows. The bed is really cute. This way, here is shower. So it's a nice big shower. It feels like you're outdoors, but I forget that I'm not. But because the ceiling's blue, it looks like it's an outdoor shower, but it isn't. And then over here is the sink. So it's a, a big rock, which is really cool. And then it's a big circle. So then you come through this way. And you're on the other side. So there's a bench. They have some cute little candles. I feel like this is a fireplace. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> and then just like little kitchen things like a kettle and a refrigerator, TV, place to put all of our things. So yeah, we're excited. It's really unique and interesting. And I'm ready to go check out the river and see if it's blue. All right now. Take us to the water. Do you know the way? <laughs> I'm gonna follow the uh, sound. You got your good shoes, so. It's four by four traction. I don't know how far off we are, but it seems to be roaring. How are your shoes holding up? Yeah, good. I've yet to build confidence in them, so I'm going very, very steadily. Ali, this is so cool. This looks amazing. This <laughs> is like, wow. Wow. Now look at it. So this is the Rio Celeste. We literally just drove here from the airport and seeing as this is our first stop in Costa Rica, it has not disappointed. This is absolutely beautiful. You've got like intense green shrubbery everywhere and then the blue water. It's pretty, pretty amazing. I'm pretty happy right now just to see all of these uh, sightings. We just came down here to see what the water was like and just to get an idea of things, we're gonna go up and get something to eat. So we just drove up the road around two minutes and we come to this restaurant. It's recommended by our Airbnb host. It's called Metamorphosis. It's a cute little Costa Rican joint where we can hopefully try some local foods. Okay. So we got 
asado, con pollo, so chicken. We get beans, fried plantain, salad, rice, and vegetables. It looks so yummy. And Ali got chilies because he likes it spicy. <laughs> okay, that's definitely the jet lag talking now. <laughs> Good morning. We're gonna go and see the Rio Celeste River, which is going to be very exciting. All right, so they've given us breakfast. Okay, there's a bit of watermelon, banana, pineapple, and an orangey fruit, papaya? Papaya, yeah. Papaya, I think. I can't wait for the coffee. Cafe con leche, por favor, senor. ¿Qué pasa? Todo bien, el desayuno, el desayuno típico de Costa Rica. Bueno. Pinto, huevo, plátano, tostadas. Gracias, amigo. Mucho gusto. Rain, rain, go away. We want the blue water. Okay. We got our boots, our rain jackets. We're ready. <laughs> in this particular park. The main things that we're trying to see is the waterfall, the pretty blue water in the river, and then there's an area that has boiling water from volcanic activity. And then the fourth place is an area where two rivers meet. That is our goal today to see those items. But right now we're just walking on the path. We have 1500 meters to get to the waterfall. We've walked around like five minutes and we're deep into the jungle. All you can hear are insects chirping and the water flowing. It's pretty relaxing. Going down to see the waterfall. We're just enjoying the sight of the waterfall riding the hike back up. It's like 150 meters which doesn't sound a lot but it's steep. Yeah. Um, but with that said, it was well worth the hike. It took us around, it did take around 15 minutes. That's it? Yeah. On to the next one. This way. Follow me. I'm the tour guide now. How are you doing there, Holly? I'm alright. I hope we've made it to our next stop. I think we we're ne really nearly there. <laughs> Whoa, the water looks so pretty! So oh my we goodness. just uh, made another 20 minute walk, uphill might I add, to the Blue Lagoon. And it literally looks like what it does online. There's no color editing, nothing. It is blue, like Gatorade blue, Powerade blue. Yeah. Perfect blue, glacial blue. Any other blue tones? Write them in the comments below. Just behind me is the boiling point where the water is bubbling up and it stinks of sulfur. It smells of like rotten eggs and it's getting very, very pungent. Especially when the wind blows like it just did. It stinks. <laughs> it does stink. I don't know what's worse, that or this. I'm gonna go over our first hanging bridge. Well, this is cool. What's that lunch lady? <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's my new style. <laughs> anyway, we're at the point where the two rivers meet and you can see the distinction between both of them. They don't mix. mix. This is the end of the trail where two rivers meet. They call the Quebrada Agria and the Buena Vesto. So Quebrada Agria is the one over there, like in the far corner of the screen and the one closer to her is the other one and together they mix bringing in their sediments and stuff like that together and this white patch over here is the mixing of the sediments um which is it's super sedimenty like super strong it's super sedimenty it's super strong oh, wow. like the white thing and then the rio celeste basically gets its color because the particles are suspended in the water kind of like rain you get like rainbows. Mm. It's pretty much the same, but underwater. Mm. Uh, 
catch up for Science 101 in our finale. next week lesson. Alright, Al, so we're at the end of the trail. Are you ready to walk all the way back? 2,500 meters? Yeah, man. Let's <laughs> do this. Right. Hopefully, we've done most of the uphill bit, so it shouldn't be too bad. Kinda hoping that we don't get quite any torrential downpours, but slow and steady. That's the mantra. I thought it was positive vibes only. Not anymore. Is that how you keep your hair so cool? Right, it helps so much. Last hundred meters. So we just finished the hike, dropped off our boots. But anyway, we literally just walked across and we're gonna have lunch. Um, I treated myself to a quick brewski and let's see what's in store. What are you gonna eat? Tell, tell everyone what you're gonna eat, what you just told me. Uh, I'm gonna have a cazados con pollo, arroz, brioles, picadillo, ensalada y platano. Why do you have a, a list at the beginning of that? Spanish. But that's Spain Spanish. I'm European. Oh, Alright, we are getting ready to leave Rio Celeste and head to our next location, which is near the Areno Volcano. So we're going to go to Casa Torre Eco Lodge tonight and stay in a tree house. So I'm really excited about that. The sun has now come out and the weather is so beautiful and the water looks even bluer than it did when we were in the National Park today. It's so pretty and we had a really nice time today. And we're about to get hit by a car, so we're going to get off the bridge. So to see one in real life, I think I would scream and freak out. <gasps> Butterfly! We're rocking these guys these days to go hiking. I um, haven't been rocking them since I bought them, but Ali has been wearing them 24-7. He's in love with the shoes. They're convenient and they pack a punch. Pack a punch! <laughs> <laughs>